Hey there, Andrew from JMI Company. I've got three probes here for you and three probing questions that'll prove to you the Fox Thermal Thermal Mass Meter is the best mass meter on the market. I'm coming at you live today from my apartment. I just got back from the JMI warehouse where we locally stock and supply millions of dollars of instrumentation. I'm here at my apartment where I locally stock and supply absolutely nothing. JMI Instrument Company. They sell great stuff. Whether it's this product or helping with any of your process automation needs, JMI Instrument Company will help engineer the right solution for you. Now back to the video. Reason number one, the non-cantilevered probe. All right, so the first question I have for you is are you worried about your probes breaking off into the process? Most competitors to Fox Thermal, they cantilever their probes leaving the non-attached tips of the sensors here, see how they're not attached to the set to the head, they're vulnerable to vibration. You can see how I can move them even with my fingers. Damage from particulate, factors like that produce noise that unnecessarily lower the accuracy of your reading. Now Fox Thermal offers non-cantilevered probes. Both sensors are welded on both ends. This allows for less vibration. You can see I can't even really move the probes with my fingers. They don't bend or waver in a wider range of process conditions. It's simple physics, but Fox Thermal did it right. Reason number two, the offset of the probe. Are you getting a stable reading with your probes? You can see how there's a difference between these two. And you can see how the offset of the probe on the Fox Thermal it's about 35 degrees, whereas the other two sensing elements are directly in line. Now, sensing elements that are directly in line are fine if you want extra vibration of airflow from one sensor interfering with the reading of another sensor. What do I mean by that? If we take a look at this sort of an example of airflow, so we've got airflow coming in this way, right? And here is your probe and you have two sensing elements in your probe. So just like the competitor's probes, these are going to look like this. Do you see how that works? Directly in line with the airflow. Well, if you take a look at where the airflow or the gas flow goes around these probes or these sensing elements, it's going to curve like that and go like that, right? And this line is going to do that and so on and so forth on both sides. Take a look at this here. This one is going to curve and hit the airflow of the other sensing element. These are going to interfere with each other. Now, Fox Thermal did an analysis on how flow velocity, exactly like this, affects probe stability. And their findings led them to a probe offset of about 35 degrees. They found that to be optimal for both sensing elements for this reason. When you offset the probes, instead of putting them directly in line, put them offset by 35 degrees. So again, same two probes, but now they're offset instead of directly in line. See the difference? Take your same airflow going in this direction and watch what happens. It's going to curve around and the two curves are virtually never going to intersect. This causes for much greater gas flow measurement stability with the probes being offset as opposed to inline. Reason number three, DDC, directly digital control. So the third and final question I have for you, what do you do when your gas composition changes in the field? Fox Thermal's DDC, the directly digital control, allows you to do two things you've never been able to do before. You can adjust your gas flow and your gas composition reading directly in line. You don't have to take it out. You don't have to go to the factory. You can do it directly in here, in the directly digital control, in the sensor. It's amazing. Guys, for more information on the DDC, the directly digital output of this sensor, take a look at JMI's YouTube page. There's a couple other videos explaining some of these features, because there is simply too much to cover in one video. I'm also going to leave a link in the description below to Fox Thermal's webpage so you can read up on it as well. It truly is innovative in the field, and I hope you take the time to check it out. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information on selecting your right thermal mass meter, or for looking at all the instrumentation that JMI Company provides, please visit jmicompany.com.